Hi, this is Tim at Time to Sew, and I'm going to do a quick demo using peel-offs. So here we go. Here's my card. It's uh, just a pre-folded C5 card. And the first thing I'm going to add is a flower. So it's sort of a pierce design. Here we go. Just peeling off the peel-off now. And positioning it onto the card. Smooth it down nicely. Also on this same sheet of peel-offs, it's quite a nice flower border, so just going to peel that. Position it there. Down it goes. Smooth it with my finger as I go. And then just trim off the ends with a pair of scissors. It's much quicker to oversail the end and then trim it than to try and pre cut it to neatly finish at the edge of the page. Now, out of all the peel offs we sell, this is probably the best seller. This is, the finish is called Glitter. This is Glitter Gold. It's a translucent peel off. So it picks up whatever colour card you're using. Now I've peeled one butterfly, now I'm peeling the same one again and holding it sticky side up. I'm then going to take a piece of acetate and stick it behind the wing but not over the body. So it's literally just covering the wing and then with a little pair of scissors just chunk around there dum, 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 dum. you needn't be that precise with the cutting because the acetate is clear um, it doesn't show if you're slightly out now when I get to the antenna I'm going to quite cruelly chop them off and then do the same to the other wing so again piece of acetate behind the wing and then trim around the edge. I'm a great fan of these little tweezer scissors. Um, you can get in and do all the little nooks and crannies with them. Now, what I've got now is a butterfly with acetate behind the wings, but the body is still sticky. So I'm just positioning one body over the top of the other. And there you go, flapping wings. So I'll just run through that again. For a second one, it's taking a butterfly from the sheet, making sure there's two of the design that you're looking at. There we go. Down he goes. Feel the second one. Sticky side up. With a bit of acetate behind the wing, trim around, and same again for the other wing. Remove the antennas. To position one above the other to give that 3D effect of the wings lifting. There we go. Now we could stop there, 
but we could also go one stage further and add some colour. I'm just going to lay the card out flat and grab a paint. This is a water filled pen. You charge up the body of the pen with water. Um, the paints you use really just like watercolour paints. The only difference with them is that they have, they're a metallic, they have a mica powder within the paint itself so when it dries it gives a nice metallic sheen so just using blue for the sky and I'm just almost like painting my numbers filling in the gaps in the peel-off For this particular piece, I'm just using the the inks as they come off the the paints, I should say, as they come off the palette. However, there are indentations in the lid of the palette, so you can mix the colours if you wish. So I'm just going through and colouring there. I've sped the film up here so that you're not too bored. Changing colour for the flower itself, for the petals. In the centre of the flower. Some green for the leaves. Just doing the leaves on the border as well to match. And there we go finished card. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed that. All of the materials that I've used are on the website at www.timetosew.com.